everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another manga review. Today we are talking about Abara. Uh, this one is... Uh, this, this name, I know I'm going to screw it up. It's Satomu Nehi. Nihi. Um, I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong. I probably am. But this is the complete deluxe edition. Of course, I bought it because of the cover. Uh, if you check this out for yourself, um, I highly recommend you see it in person because that's the whole reason why I ordered it is because I saw it at Books A Million. It's a absolutely beautiful edition. It's all black, like most manga, it's all black and white inside. Um, the, the, the story revolves around a world, uh, that is being, uh, set upon by, uh, genetically altered human beings. Uh, I, I guess that was the case. He, here's, here's the problem that I, because I gave this three stars. Here's the problem that I had with this. There's almost no story. It is almost all action um, and that that's fine. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the action. I enjoyed the gnarly gore. It is a horror manga, or maybe a, a horror sci-fi kind of deal, fantasy, dark fantasy kind of thing. Um, I enjoyed all that, but there is so little character development. I don't remember a single character in the book, period. Oh, excuse me. I don't remember any of that. I do remember some of the great artwork and some of the great fight... Ah, sorry, I, got, I think I got the hiccups. Uh, some of the great fight scenes. So, um, if you're going into this expecting much of a story, like I said, there isn't one. And I wanted everything fleshed out more. Now, there is a bit in the extra story at the end that I think it ties into it. I'm pretty sure it ties into it. I read this with my friend Nick. Uh, we're going through and reading, uh, trying to read uh, manga every single, uh, every single month. I think next up is Demon Slayer. can't remember. Um, but this one... I just wanted, I wanted more story, I wanted more backstory with, you know, with the characters, with the world building. Um, because you're coming into a world that has been devastated by certain things, and I believe they're trying to rebuild, but it's not really sure. Like I said, if I miss some stuff, please let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But the main thing I want to put, when you, when you see this, when you see this artwork, it is consistent throughout. It is fantastic. I haven't found a manga yet. Now they might, I've, I've only read like five different uh, manga authors right now. Actually only three. There's this one, uh, One Punch Man, and Junji Ito. Um, I think the author of One Punch Man is just one, right? And then this author. So I've only read three. Um, but all three of them, the artwork has been consistently good throughout. Um, I think the only the only one that I wouldn't say that about is the very first part of uh, Tomi from Junji, Junji Ito. Uh, but that he even says that it was rushed and why it was rushed in that book. So I'm not I I would I'm still going to say that manga has been quality. Um, there also I want to ask I need I need recommendations for horror manga that is not silly. I guess would would be the point. Not over the top. More more like Uzumaki. Um, now there was some comedy stuff in there, or at least I found some parts funny, but I would like to read something really, really dark. So leave your, uh, all your suggestions down there in the doobly-doo. Um, like I said, keep off the goofiness. I don't really care too much for vampires, um, so stay away from that. Literally everything else is uh, open. Um, I'm willing to try. Uh, also, if you have any manga that is really, really dark that isn't horror, maybe a more literary side of manga, I would absolutely love to check that out. But have you read Abara? I think... I, Abara? I'm, I'm not sure. You know how I am with pronunciation. I'm sorry. Um, anyways, have you read it? If you have, let me know what you thought down there in the doobly-doo, whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it. I'm pretty in the middle. It's not a meh in the middle. It's just that I love the artwork and I hated that there was no real story to it other than kind of like a Dragon Ball Z thing where it's just, you know, fight, 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 fight kind of thing. Um, and if there's more to Dragon Ball Z, I apologize. I have not watched the show. I have not read it. I've just heard things about it. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another manga review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.